Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, thank you so much for joining me and my erstwhile guests. I am Mark Goldberg. We are going to do the Mark Goldberg Christmas extravaganza <laughs> with <laughs> Clyde the Elf <laughs> and Blue Shirt Buddha. <laughs> Mark Goldberg. Gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. Clyde, you're a bit of an evil elf this evening, I feel. I just love that. That just tickles me. That, warm, that warms the cuckles. The cuckles, or is it the cockles? Ah, cockles, cuckles. Okay, what? well, we're going to keep it a little bit clean. I'm going to try and monetize this and not get thrown off the air. So bear in mind, you know. We're gonna we're gonna be nice tonight. I would like to thank the uh, the ladies and gentlemen that are here with me tonight. Merry Christmas, Clyde. Merry Christmas, Blue Shirt. Thank you, sir. Happy Hanukkah, Mark. Yes. Well, thank you. You're a day late and a dollar short. I didn't get I didn't get one gift, let alone eight. But um, yes, thank you. In fact, uh, I, I was away for I was away for most of Hanukkah. 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 I was away for most of Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Okay. Easy on the easy on the throat stuff there. So we got the. Uh, however, uh, I got I got plenty. The boyfriend and I lit the candles remotely every night, so that was like you know we did that by text. It was kind of fun. Yeah. Well, before we move on, I would like to thank each and every one of you in attendance, all the punters, for sharing just a little bit of your fist miss with us. Thank you so much for joining us. Super and chat. Um, super chat. Super chat. Stupid chat. We have a stupid chat, Alex. Spain says with think with cinco euro feliz navidad mark saludos desde españa alejandro it's our friend alejandro well alejandro um I don't, he's not in the cardinals group so clyde i don't know send him the link if you if you know how to do this thank you so much for your stupid chat sir now send who who uh alex spain yes please yes no alejandro. i can't I, I have no yeah. idea what to do uh, see I, your no, we, I, we could, I could, you can go in and like post it as like, nah, nah, nah. but I would like to say that, uh, no, I don't want to post it up here in the, you know, because would, it'll bring, it'll bring in the riffraff. Um, he said, oh. done. I want to <laughs> wish you a fairy Christmas. I want to <laughs> wish you a fairy. You know, guys, can I just say, as you know, Clyde was in the hospital for a week with a raging case of hemorrhoids. That That's what I told them, Clyde, you know. Mm -hmm. To protect your HIPAA rights, and and that's the story that we're sticking with, isn't it? Sure. Why okay. Not? There you go. So, <laughs> thank you, Foreman Colossus, for the for that comment. Okay, <laughs> but like I said, we're keeping it a little clean. So, um, Clyde was in the hospital for a week with a raging case of the hemorrhoids, and um, he, you know, he had the kind of hemorrhoids that required him to take oxygen, so he had an oxygen mask on, which meant that for most of a week, I barely talked to Clyde. And I got to tell you, by the end of that week, I missed him. I missed him terribly. And then, you know, Clyde, they healed you all up. They yanked you off the oxygen. They sealed up all your little, you know, all your little problem areas and you're back. And now I don't, I, and now I kind of want to see if I could lower your oxygen level from 95, <laughs> to about, you know, back to around 75, because you were a lot more manageable. You know, you were a lot more because he came. Tell me if I'm wrong, Blue Shirt. Did he not mm. come back with like a vengeance? He did. He did. Yeah. It's making up for lost time. Oh, dear God. Like, I don't know what you did in that hospital without YouTube. You must have been a complete mess. Besides Clyde. running down the hall naked. <laughs> Clyde, have you told that story? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know. And oh, my God, so much bad TV. I mean, like. It's like there's a movie. And I'm trying to figure out what the fuck. I mean, sorry, what what it was, but it's like the 30s. It may have been like one of the first movies of like Kirk Douglas, but they were just acting. They were just acting through the to the nines on that one. See, Clyde Clyde maintains that 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 he pulled out his own IV and ran down the halls of the hospital, you know, completely butt naked in an act of delirium, but. I, you know, I've uh, been talking to the floor nurses and they said that that was the afternoon that uh, Clyde got the first look at his hospital bill. And, uh, <laughs> and I maintain the theory, Clyde, that you were looking to string together some sheets, and throw them out the window so that you could climb down. That's, you know, just, just my theory there because Clyde, tell me, 
I mean, you, you've been to jail many, many times. Is that is that is correct, technically, yes? Yes, I have. That's what I thought. You've been to jail many a time. Okay. Well, again, I want to thank you people for joining us on Christmas. We have literally no topic here to discuss, but there's quite a few of you uh, joining us. And um, so we would like to, you know, thank, thank you for that. Um, it was a very good Christmas here. We had a couple of family members over. We kept it small. Um, nice. and, well, good. Uh, you know, because you're supposed to, unless you're a freaking idiot. Um, yeah, like because uh, you, you don't want to catch hemorrhoids, right, Clyde? That's the thing, right? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I thought. But you know, they've actually got two new types of hemorrhoids right now in the UK. This segment brought to you by Preparation H. Okay, <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, hopefully it'll all work out well. I mean, now, one one case of hemorrhoids is like it's supposed to be like seventy percent more transmissible than the normal hemorrhoids, and the then. And then the new case of hemorrhoids, the newest, mm. is just as easily transmissible, but they think it came from South Africa, so it can outrun all the other cases of hemorrhoids. Well, a friend of mine is a uh, friend of mine is a um, is a nurse. She got her first, um, and of course, she's on a COVID ward. Like every, I think all the nurses now, everybody's on a COVID ward, no matter what you do. Pretty much, e even on Gray's Anatomy, all the surgeons were on the COVID ward, and. Um, Anyway, she got her vaccination on the 19th, and then she gets her her second one um, after the first of the year. I forget the day, but she knows what day it's supposed to be. And it, she she didn't have any problem with it. Um, she she didn't you know tell me that she had any particular. Well, thank goodness for that. You know, issue. No. Yeah. So um, she's really worried though that it's going to be, according to her, another year of death and destruction. So I really hope not. Um, but I think what she's anticipating is that there might be a whole lot of people um, who get sick before the before they get vaccinated. Yep. So. yep. Let us hope not. Let us right. let's, let's let's hope not. So we are going to uh, really hope that we have a better year. Um, it's got to be better. It's got to be better. Can't be worse. Let's hope. So, well, guys, what we're going to do here is we're going to talk a little bit of watches. We are um, we're more than happy to uh, answer your questions. Super chats, although not necessary, are definitely appreciated and are given over to the dog food fund here at the little dog farm here. Um, and uh, Clyde, I I'm pretty sure. I can't send a book to everybody because I just don't have enough books. But, Clyde, I believe I sent you a book, didn't I? Yes, you did. All right. That's good. Oh, lovely. Yeah. It's and uh, the rest of you can find it on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. It's, I think it's on sale right now for like 19-something on Amazon. Nice. And, um, you know, Clyde, you're mentioned prominently in the book, aren't you? Yes, I am. You know, I, I, I've decided that in future books, <clears throat> I'm never going to mention any <laughs> – I'm never going to mention anybody, any of my friends ever again, because <laughs> it's like tattooing the name of your girlfriend on your arm. Mm. <laughs> like when you tattoo the name of your girlfriend on your arm, you're, you're like bound to break up within like six months. Right. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I know. And um, there, no, I put nice. a we answer all we answer all super chats here. We so, do. So please do not super <laughs> chat embarrassing questions asking for the reasons of Mark's Oh wait! Uh, uh, stop it now! Behave yourself, Adolf. Adolf, Adolf Hipster, <laughs> Clyde. He wanted to know if, if you used it for toilet paper. <laughs> that was that, that was that was rude, Adolf Hipster. As if your name weren't rude enough, <laughs> you know. Anyway, are you willing to share your uh, your latest uh, horological acquisition, there, Mister Dog Trainer? Um, I don't. Well, yeah. sure, I. Yeah. Of course I am. Alex, again from Spain, purchases for 2021. Compras para el 2021. So um, thank you. I'll leave that up for a moment. Well, that's yeah, five euros. It is five euros. It was very nice of it, Alejandro. Um, Alejandro. Alejandro. Wait, is Alejandro the one from the other channel? He's the surgeon from Mexico. Yes, from Mexico. Alejandro from Spain. Yes, he's the surgeon Super from Mexico. Like, um, we, we got to get him the, the link, but I don't know how to get you the link. Alejandro. Okay. Alejandro, uh, Clive, watch, uh, Clive. What the hell is my type, type it into the email. Wow. Type, type it into the comments, Clive Z, because Clive watch Wrangler <laughs> Gmail .com. Wrangler has a W and an and an R. <laughs> so that uh, makes it. And, uh, we'll send you the link. That Thank makes you. it simple for the Spanish ear. C L Y B de vaca. 
Okay. Watches and giggles a dollar ninety nine in American Merry Christmas. Shouldn't that be Merry Christmas, Clyde? Welcoming you three health. Welcoming you three health and Daytonas. Nice. Thanks, Chris. Well, anyway, uh, we will read all super chats. Please do not send super chats asking embarrassing questions. Anyway, so where were we now? Uh, <laughs> Clyde seems to have gone, you know, unnaturally silent. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so what, what happened is, um, I sh thank you for the wishes of health. That is always important. And um, <clears throat> you know, God willing, and the creek don't rise, gentlemen. I uh, I hope to have a Daytona nice. by summer. Now, showcase mm -hmm. watches. Should we have him on or not? Well, when you say it like that, Clyde, what, what am I supposed to say? Not? Yes. You okay. can't do that because I say that all the time. James yeah. never James never wants to go on, so leave, leave it up to James. James James likes to sit back from the uh, from the peanut gallery and mm. you know yeah. see what's going on. And uh, if anybody needs a you know like a, a free um, Christmas gift, just stop by James and check the window. Yeah, it may well oh. be open. Jiggle the doorknob. Might be oh, open. You realize, you realize that we are indeed Rebel Wilson. Well, actually, no. It's not really. It's not really Rebel Wilson streaming anymore, is it? No, it's not. And we've drained off. 70 people from the other stream, if that's what's happening right now. I, I don't know because, you know, I kind of like not only unsubscribed the channel, you know, but like blocked it. And, um, and of course, a lot of people have said the last time you unsubscribed from Archie, you made like a four part video series, you know, and made like hundreds of dollars in views. You know, I should probably try that again. What do you think? No. Yeah, that's what I think too. So I think, guys, we have to talk about Minotaurian speak. You know, where Elf is spelled E L P H, and and it's not Christmas; it's Fistmas. That's a and hard I, habit to break. Let me I, tell you. I know. I like, stopped twelve minutes ago. Do I have to do my own super chat announcements? You too. Super chat. Super chat. Fifteen dollars. Ooh, good one, Toey S. Toey thinks that's honest opinion. When will the Rolex brand start suffering? When will people lose, lose lots of money? Um, well, I mean, I have my own opinion on this, but like, let's let's throw the round robin. Let's let's ask Blue Shirt since your avatar is a bluesy. Start with you. When's it? When's it all go pear shaped for Rolex? Never. That's what I say. Goes up and up and up and up and up. And Clyde, what do you think? Do you agree with that one? Ah, jeez. I, I don't. If if it does happen, it'll be long term. And it'll be for reasons in affecting the over, watch market overall. I think. Yeah, like Switzerland gets nuked. Yeah, or yeah, something along those lines. Well, people lose lots of money. Well, okay. And it, it depends how people's tastes change. I mean, like I said, so you know the James Dowling story about getting the bubble backs. You know, big money for gold bubble backs back in the day at, in the early part of the 21st century. And if you if you pay top dollar for those things, you wouldn't have you'd be losing money on them now. So no telling. No telling. I think I think the only people that are likely to lose money on Rolex are people who bought either just as Clyde is saying on a uh, on a fad or who bought very poorly. So, for example, there are people paying exuberant money for... If you if you got a still sports model and you helped Roman build a new deck on his house, <laughs> you're probably... Well, honestly, that. you're probably okay. You know, it's the people who bought, like, a vintage... $30,000 Hulk. All right, let's 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 get there for in, in just a second because you got a point there too. But if people who okay. bought like a vintage, a vintage steel sports, like, you know, a, a 70s, 80s GMT, but it's all frankened up and they didn't know it and they bought it at the top of the market, right? So, you know, that would be problematic. Or, or uh, you bought yourself a red line Submariner, but it turns out to have an aftermarket dial you know, or hands or something. Or it turns out the line is actually chartreuse. So these are the things you got to be careful about. Do never buy a purple dial bluesy, you know, off of an itinerant rancher because, mm. <laughs> you know, you might get hurt. But no, um, like, I heard, no like, that was pre-molested. <laughs> I know it's true. It is true. Doc BBW bought your purple bluesy, and he does. He did. 
Yeah, he he loves it, and he didn't even have to molest it because it was already done for him. So, but I mean, I think that those are the people who are likely to lose money. People who bought very badly. Now, Blue Sharp points out people who bought a thirty thousand dollar Hulk. Well, I mean, I don't think anybody really bought a thirty thousand dollar Hulk, mm -hmm. but close you know, to it. But well, like maybe for a uh, if somebody has like a new in the box, unworn, stickered. Because now no, stickers, you, you almost can't get stickers anymore. Easy, Clyde. Easy, easy, easy. Dealers, <laughs> yeah, don't snatch your money. Dealers used to let you, um, if they really knew you well, they'd let you take off your own stickers or send you home mm. to take them off. But it seems it's as though here, Oklahoma. here in the States, well, I think it's everywhere now. I mean, yep. did you get to de-sticker your the email from, from no. Switzerland? Yeah. You didn't, you didn't de-sticker your bluesy, right? They did I did it. not. Okay. And um, honestly, I, I haven't gotten to de-sticker de anything uh -huh. since the Sea Dweller, and even the Sea Dweller was partially de-stickered for me. Well, and I personally think there might be a possibility, but he's all Clyde, what are you, Clyde, 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 what, what are you, what are you, what are you banging? There? <laughs> well, I'm getting less water, so. Yeah, it's like healthy for you and shit. What did you have to clump up in well, that? What are you you pumping it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, that's, that's why I'm dehydrated. <laughs> well, yeah, it is. Okay. Well, look, I don't know who we have here. I'm not entirely sure I believe it. Are you really the doc? Merry Christmas, gentlemen. It is the oh, doc. Oh, for sure. With his with his iPhone 3, that's but, definitely the doc. Yeah. <laughs> But on the other hand, now I think it's very, very case specific. So I think possibly if you got something, and let's just say it's a very, very popular watch that they're going to make tons of, that they're going to crank out. Let's just say what are they? Oh, I don't out? know. Let's just say it's a forty-one millimeter Submariner date, and you paid over retail. Yeah, you might get hurt. When have they cranked out tons of those? When has there not been a shortage? Mm. There's been a shortage. And they picked up tons. Well, that's true, but there's way more people want them than can get them. You know. Sure. Real quick, Doc, um, tell us, do you love that purple bluesy that you got from Clyde? I am completely head over heels in love with this black and bluesy. That uh, yes, I love it. I love that it's a Franken, and I love that it's purple. And yes, I do. So I don't think you're going to lose too much money on it. The, you know, the rancher took it easy. Nope. Doc, you're not here as a peace emissary, are you? And you're not a here. Piece of, a piece of what? A piece of what? You're not. You're not here in a diplomatic mission, are you? No, not okay. at all. No, not that's at the, all. That's the crypt keeper who 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 does the occasional reach around. Not, not the doc. <laughs> not a, not at all. I, I mean, the doc is a good war companion. You want you know you want the doc next to you in a foxhole. Merry Christmas, well, doc. Good good to talk you, to you. He'll bring a flask. Merry Christmas, blue shirt. Yes, I'm. I'm actually wearing my bluesy, my black and bluesy. Nice. Uh, you see, I'd want Doc as like special forces. Like, I'd want him on the. Never mind. Forget it. Go ahead. You know, Doc. Doc would make like a lousy medic because you know this guy's like shot and he's trying to like you know fix a cr crick in his neck. Well, you know, <laughs> a little manipulation and you won't even feel it. You won't even. Feel it. <laughs> yeah. Look, th that gunshot wound is causing a subluxation. Let's deal with the important part here. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Stay awake. Stay awake. Uh, I don't understand. Why, why, are they, why are they staying awake? Hey, you know what Satan's kitten got me for Christmas? Um, a no. really a very nice heavy steel bracelet with like butterfly clasp for the Apple Watch and a mm. stain, like and a stainless steel colored mm. you know case that snaps over the screen so that it matches the band. Mm -hmm. And and then I put a you know, like I put a rectangular, like looking Cartier watch face on it, mm. and it look it looks like a real watch. <laughs> so yeah. you know, I didn't know. So those Apple watches don't normally come with the option for a bracelet. Then. Well, they they Apple sells all sorts of bracelets and straps and this is and that's, but the aftermarket has way more. Um, and I'm not, I don't know if 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 OEM Apple has what I'm wearing, which is like a proper looking, you know, oyster bracelet, like an oyster bracelet. Yeah. It's a three link oyster bracelet. Um, all matte brushed, all brushed finish. Um, nice. yeah. And, um, 
so it really looks and feels like a proper watch now because like <laughs> almost everything with uh with the apple watch um has some kind of like sporty looking you know bracelet um they make a hundred dollar milanese which i thought was insane super chat super, super, super chat, chat. Super super chat. chat. <laughs> all right let's get to the super chat a dude apart two dollars how about people paying twelve thousand dollars for an op mm. well so yeah no no it's, it's yeah if the jet hits the fan okay yeah. look here's here's what happens when a new model comes out and people are all pumped up and crazy for it and I mean, when a man it, loves a woman and they and they overinvest Clyde that's 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 keep your perversions to yourself Clyde when um when people okay. <laughs> when a woman loves a woman and they invite uh, him over to come watch <laughs> so remember that we're keeping it clean there go there there goes the monetization anyway when people are paying twelve thousand dollars for like a a six thousand dollar watch the problem is is that when it's not new anymore and some of some of the legit used ones start hitting the market and it goes down to eight you know but you're right. not going to lose twelve thousand dollars on that you're not going to lose even six thousand dollars on it but maybe you'll lose you know like three or four super um, sticker but if you wait long enough you know what just wait five years and yeah you'll be selling it for 14 brandon no yeah there we go Ray Bow, 99 cent super stupid sticker thank you brandon appreciate that all going into the dog food fund so um and the dog food fund dollar der aller echte king what does that mean the yeah, all I mean. something, the all something king. What's echte? Hmm. Run Alexis. the shrink. Merry Christmas, Alexis. Run the shrink. Be wealthy and get Alexis. So um, I don't think you're gonna. I I wouldn't pay fifteen for an op. No. But um, but I I asked my authorized dealer to call me if they get a turquoise one, and I haven't heard a word. <laughs> so I think that stuff is really hard to get. Do mm. not buy Old Roy from Walmart. That is like the junkiest food. And let me tell you how I accidentally know that. Now, this is years ago. So maybe they've improved the formula. I don't know. Mm. But one day I was mm. in there years ago. I had a couple of greyhounds at the time. And I saw the, like, the price of this bag. And I was like, yeah, you know, what could it hurt? Let me try. You should have seen man, those dogs. Did I, they turn their nose up? No, they scarfed it down. But the problem is, is that I was cleaning up like elephant-sized piles of poop. Yeah, <laughs> each, that's what I was going to get. Each, each, each dog was making like four or five of them a day. They pooped their brains out. It was super just, chat, super chat, it super chat, was just super super chat, awful. Super chat. Alejandro. Oh, I need to check the, yeah, I need to check my. Send you my email, Clive. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. This way uh, we can we can we can get Alejandro on. Um, um, guesses for discontinue. Well, I don't know, guys. What do, what what do you think, Doc? What what might go in 2021? Oh my God, you got me. I mean, you know, I'm I'm a vintage guy. Um, but I, I, I'm gonna say eventually, uh, they gotta they gotta stop the mill the mill gauss and the explorer, explorer one. I mean. Mm. Don't they have to stop those? No, Haven't they've been around for a while. No, not the mm. Explorer. Maybe the Air King. Maybe. Well, the Air King, they just changed it. They're not going to stop that one that quick because they just changed it. But the Explorer one's been out oh, for so long. They... Yeah, but they well, changed. Here's... They changed that in uh, 2016. Here's the rumor. The rumor is the the rumor is that the. Um, the 42 millimeter um, Pol Explorer 2 will be updated for its 50th anniversary oh, with a ceramic thing. bezel. Mm -hmm. which Ooh, I, that would be nice. Which I think would be very nice. Um, and of course, I'll probably re end up regretting selling, you know, the one that I that I sold. Mm. Um, but anyway, that's one rumor. And then, um, wouldn't it be cool if they if they took the line of red off of the <laughs> Off of the forty-three millimeter sea dweller, right? Just kept yeah. the, you know, like how long are they going to leave that red line on there? Mm -hmm. And the that sea dweller, the forty-three millimeter red line, fiftieth anniversary sea dweller, that watch um, is trading for like <laughs> right at, at retail or only pennies over. I mean, it's basically has no premium on it. Am I correct, guys out there in the peanut gallery? I think it's I think it's trading more or less right at. Uh, yeah, right, right around 13. Yeah, there's not a lot of meat on that bone. 
And um, but if of course if they take the red line off of it, and then it was it only had a red line for three to five years, whatever it'll have been by that point, then those ones that are out there, I think would 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 definitely climb in value. I mean, honestly, it's not a popular watch. It's it's a bit too big. It is a too chunky. It's related to the icon, the sub, but it isn't the icon. You know, it's or, like. It's like the modern Submariner uh, Atavus, I think. I mean, it's a little bit like going to Subway and ordering a 36 incher. They can do it, but like not that many people ask for them. You know, who have we got here? Kind of reminds me of it. Uh, ale, 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 Alejandro, thank you for coming. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, chicos, a todos. See, si. prospero año y felicidad. You know, I'm going to tell a quick story. So one day I fly into Madrid at the time you would have been uh, not born, I think. And um, I was staying on uh, on what became La Gran Villa, which is sort of like the main drag that runs through Madrid. But at that time was called um, Jose. Uh, what the hell was the name of that uh, general during the war? What uh, Francisco Jose. Franco? No, no, no. It was one of his generals, uh, Jose something Avenida Jose Antonio. Jose, Jose Cuervo. I think it was Jose Avenida Jose, Jose Antonio Cuervo. You know, the Gran Via was only renamed Gran Via after Franco died. Before that, I want to say it was Avenida Jose Antonio, and I had a, um, I, I had a, a hotel right on the Gran Via, and um, I flew in on December twenty fourth, and little did I know. We'll get right over to it. Little did I know that this, that I didn't know at the time, but that Christmas Eve is bigger in Spain than Christmas Day. Christmas Eve is a big deal. For those of you wondering, it still is Christmas, even though it seems like it should be New Year's by now. <laughs> Clyde's saying I have a long, telling a long ass story. Well, anyway, all I can tell you is I uh, the hotels. I had nothing to do, so the hotel staff got me completely blitzed, and it was the first time that I ever got like really, really violently ill from alcohol. I think I was 18 years old and uh, they gave me red wine and white wine and vodka and gin and whiskey. And I was never so ill in my life. So I have very fond memories of vomiting in every part of Madrid that you could possibly be sick in. Nice. And gin was there, huh? <laughs> no, you know, no gin. Gin wouldn't have been born either. A dude apart, $5. Will Rolex start changing the dial colors on the OP to keep them desirable? Well, that would be cool. I, I doubt it. But also, I think the date just will get the same treatment as the OP to skew younger. What do you think, guys? Are they going to start like the annual color change of the OP? No, they're going to just let it let it be for a ride the wave for a while. Then they'll then they'll make the they'll change the colors or they'll get rid of some, bring some new ones in. I'd say every like three years. Hmm. I agree they're going to ride it until they see those profits drop a little bit and then they're going to jump up with something new. And what, what say you, Ale? I, I've been told that the Wimbledon dial is going to be discontinued. Ooh, uh, that told me that, you know. Yeah, that's going to pop. Oh, the, your AD told you. And they may, they may know. It's they may officially. Know. Know. Mm. Well, see, the, the funny thing is, is that the ADs do not get official word. However, <laughs> what, what happens is they're... Um, you know, their sales representative from Rolex may give them a wink and a nod and an artificial rumor, you know, but they never get actually notified until day of. But um, but that would be very nice for the owners of that. That would pop that up a lot. I I um, Rolex, it would these new colors on the one hand were a bold move for Rolex. On the other hand, didn't they just really return to their roots, guys? Because they had those uh, they had those colors on those uh, on on the on the day dates years ago. Mm -hmm. Well, their age, I think their roots would be gray by this time. Certainly. But what was the story on that? Because we're, wasn't that like some maker that some aftermark, some, wasn't there a lawsuit about those colors? What's the, yes. what's the story blue shirt? Tell us. Um, I, I, I forget what the exact nature of the story is, but they, they did, they did sue over, over colors mm. and one blue shirt. Let me let me highlight your comment there. Go ahead and promote this channel. Oh, okay. Um, well, we were uh, Thomas Burnett and a something uh, Neo and myself. Uh, we were doing a show with uh, Flip and Zippo every Sunday. It was mm -hmm. called uh, Sunday with the Punters. Um, 
Flippin has decided to uh, to take a break. Um, so I started up a new channel. We're going to broadcast every Sunday at two o'clock Eastern, the way we uh, we have in the past. The name of the channel is called Watch Talk with the Punters. So, so you, uh, you guys want to subscribe? You want to tune in? So no. Pavel says it's a brilliant move. Sorry, Clyde, Z, pop in there. I'll look at look to Pavel's earlier comment. That's the one I was trying for. It's a rehash of the earlier Stellas. Those were called the Stella dials. Hey, Stella! <laughs> but I don't know if initially, if Rolex, th there's a story. There's a There was a lawsuit. So I don't think that, um, I, I think that somehow or another, Rolex acquired those colors. I think somebody made aftermarket dials for the for the watch. Rolex mm. sued them and won. Yeah. And then uh, they just co-opted. Because they knew they were on the way. Mm. That's why they sued him. If they would have done it like two or three years ago, I think Rolex, I don't think Rolex would have given a fig. Rolex has done some incredibly funky stuff that you would never that like I'm still discovering Especially in the 60s. Right. You know, it's true, guys. I, I I'm still discovering little oddities about Rolex that I never knew before. The Stella dials, that's a great example. I had no idea about those watches. But what are those ladies? Um, those ladies Daytonas. With all those crazy funky colors and the and the funky of oh, the Daytona beaches, that's right. What years were those? Because like I had never heard of that stuff. Mm. And I'm not sure what what uh, what years those came out. And talking about a thirty thousand dollar Rolex, I think isn't that what are, what they go for? They're very. Actually, good. Did you ever go to Daytona and check out all the beaches? I've been to Daytona. You could. I don't know if you still if can. You pick out all the beaches. You could drive on the beach. Back when I went, you literally could drive your car down the beach. Crazy. I don't know if they still let you do that. Which it's kind of dumb to do it because you. No, I think it would be at least, um, you know, manslaughter. I think really. Anybody, anybody in the uh, peanut gallery know? Can you still drive on the beach in Daytona? Every year in Daytona, one or two cars would get taken by the tide. No, can you drive on the beaches? That's what I'm talking about, Clive. I mean, I know you're making a pun there, but like I'm doing my best to ignore you. Which I know you are. And not I'm, easy. <laughs> I'm forcing my pun upon you. Now, Alejandro, how are things going? I'm forcing my pun inside of you. I'm not uh, really quite sure where we're going with this. Well, we're gonna switch gears real quick. <laughs> we're gonna talk about a, a you know a, a a lighter subject. So, COVID in Madrid. How are things going? <clears throat> Alejandro, you're a surgeon, but now, just like on Gray's Anatomy, all the doctors, regardless of specialty, are working the COVID ward. How are, how are things going these days? Well, not not so good, I'm afraid. Oh. You know, because of Christmas, you know, rest, restrictions have been very great. But even so, people are meeting in the street, at home, so cases are going up. Oh boy, and um, have you been back? Like have you been back? Isn't doing you know, anything. We're taking the vaccine ending January, end so of January. You know, well, because you know, even it, my, I've got friends who are physicians and nurses here who received vaccinations as long as almost two weeks ago already here. In Europe, you know, the the regulation takes a bit longer than in the states. Mm. You know, the FDA always approve things a little earlier in the States, in, in Europe, not just in Spain, in Europe, it, it takes uh, some weeks to approve that. Now, Alejandro, someone trying to leave the hospital at 2 a.m. while in the nude. Naked. That's what we read for, right? Did they get a discount on their, uh, well. They have to report it, actually, if that happens, yes. Clyde, you've been reported. Clyde, your 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 face is plastered, and your butt is plastered all over <laughs> every nurse <at> station. <laughs> you know. At, anyway, well, you know, we 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 are wishing you many blessings for the new year, and uh, hope that you get your vaccine quickly, and that Madrid and the rest of the world can return a little bit to normal. It's it's distressing to no. hear your cases rising because Madrid has been very very hard hit already. Yeah, and of course, well, actually, the thing is, at least you don't really traditionally have a Thanksgiving holiday, like, you know, like you know, that's an American thing. So at least you didn't have an excuse for idiots to get together and spread the disease further. Yeah, um, we have a, we have a cluster in America. We have a cluster of holidays, which starts with Thanksgiving, Dia de las Gracias, and then quickly followed by Christmas and then New Year's. And uh yeah, so we uh, pe people are are also gathering here and traveling. 
That's uh, I did travel recently for work. Um, although I, you know, how to put it, I wore a face shield, an N95 mask, and then over that a surgical mask. And um, wow, you know, I wanted to be really careful, but I I wasn't the only person with a face shield and a mask. I did see that um, more on the Texas side than I did on the Illinois side, but. I was I wasn't the only guy. Also, I wanted to fly first class so I wouldn't be too squished in because both these flights were full. And United's big nod, you yeah. know, towards you know COVID protection was to tell you the flight was full and offer you a free change of flight if you needed it. But um, they they squished people in. Um, I see. And wearing three condoms at the same time. Well, that's an entire. I did that too, Doc. Actually. <laughs> you know, I was going for full protection. Wow. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for having joined us. I know I'm uh, Clyde. We were scheduled to go 30 minutes, you and me, and here we've gone a little bit longer. I don't know if you want to pick this up on your channel, but I've got some family things that I must attend to here on the last couple hours of Christmas. Would any of you like to make a closing statement? Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. Thank you for having us. Merry Christmas, one and all. And on a really sincere note, I we should do this again soon. Certainly, we will do it before or on New Year's. I want to thank all of you for having joined me. One of the rare pleasures of YouTube is all the crazy nutballs that you meet. And uh, there are uh, you know 90 or 100 of you listening to us right now. But most importantly... We have we we all have the same problem, but we've made a little family out of this group, and uh, I just want to thank you for being part of my family. And like like no, many no, families, he, he quit broadcasting like forty minutes ago. And like and like many families, we have crazy uncle who really needs to be institutionalized, <laughs> you know. But uh, we we do our best. So once again, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas to us later, all. fellas. Merry Christmas. Good night. And Happy New Year. And Happy New Year. Well. Wait, did he leave us? He, he did.